Hey, so today's video is one I think you're gonna find really useful, and that is how to add a link to a story report so that you can link directly uh, from the output of the report to uh, an employee's profile. So um, I cannot take credit for uh, this uh, capability. I, I didn't figure it out on my own per se. I first heard about it from Chris Payne at Success Connect. Uh, those of you that don't know Chris Payne, he is a, an Aussie uh, Success Factors, SAP technical uh, guy extraordinaire. I'm not quite sure that he's not a cyborg. Um, and then I, I went on and I stumbled across a KBA that someone within Success Factor support had produced to explain step by step how to go through and do these steps. So um, I'm, uh, I'm showing the KBA to you right now. Um, so I, anyway, all I did is I just followed the KBA and these are the steps involved. And as you'll see, it's really simple and, I, and will uh, really add some uh, power and, and usefulness uh, to your story report. So without further ado, let's get going. To demonstrate how to create these hyperlinks, I'm going to start off with an existing query that I already built. I've already done three videos on creating story reports. The first two of which had to do with how to set up the query. So I'm going to link to that here so that you can go back and refer to those videos if you want. So we're gonna start at the point at which the query has already been built and now we're going to build the hyperlink, hyperlink demo on top of that. Okay, so as I said, I have already created the query. The only requirement for your query is that you must include the user ID from job information as one of your fields, because that is the field that we're going to use here in a minute to allow for the linkage with the employee profile. So with that out of the way, we are going to use a table. Very important, you need to choose cross tab as the table structure. So I'm just now I'm going to add in the rows that I want to see. And I'm just going to add in. First is user ID that I'm going to use. First name, last name, department, and division. Of course, you can use whatever fields you need to. Okay, so now I, ha I have some fields in my report. So let's talk about how we go about adding the link. And it's really simple. So I'm just going to click on the user ID field, and then I'm going to go to table functions and we go to add, we're gonna add hyperlink. And we go here, we're going to choose external URL. And the only trick to this is really figuring out what your URL is. The URL is going to be basically this, the first part of your system, whatever your system is. In this case, it's pmsalesdem.successfactors.com plus the rest of the information that you need for getting to the people profile. And you can look on help.sap.com and there is a deep links guide. So if you want to check that out and see all of the different things you can link to on an employee's profile, you can do that. But in our case, I've already got the link taken care of here. So it's going to be, again, the first part plus SF, and then I'm going to use live profile. So this is just going to take you directly to the top of the user's profile. And then you can see here that it's got selected user. So how do we decide what the selected user is going to be? And then that's where this comes into play. So I need to move to the very end of my URL, select in use, and then I select user ID. And then I will say open in new tab. So that way in your tabbed browsers, it's going to show up as just a new tab. And I click done. So that's all I need to do up front, but now the next thing I need to do is pretty much the last thing. Click on navigate to external URL, say show hyperlinks and table, and you can see here that the hyperlink now appears. So if I click on the link, you will see that I am now launching to the profile of the person, in this case, Steve Dinkum. So I'm gonna save that. 
And yeah, it's that easy. Once you have the query set up, as long as you have the user ID in the field, it, as one of your fields, you choose cross tab query, and then you go through those steps and now you've got a hyperlink added to your report. And I think we can all see the value that could provide. You can roll this out to people and then they can just click on these links and get to the high and then actually just go straight to the employee's profile. So I uh, hope you find this is as useful as I am. Thanks to P for putting out a KBA on. This is going to be something that, that a lot of people are going to find uh, really useful. Enjoy. Enjoy.